Hi there, my name is Cody Mack and today we're going to go over the five things you need to know about why research creep occurs. But before we dive into those five things, let's talk a little bit more about why, what research creep actually is. In domestic hot water systems, where you're using a mixing valve to control the temperature to your fixtures and have a continuous domestic hot water recirculation system, you can run into situations where the temperature coming from the taps far exceeds the set point of the mixing valve and sometimes even reaches the temperature of the domestic hot water source. This is commonly called research creep and it is very dangerous, so here are five things you should know about it. Research creep happens when the research is running for long periods of time with little to no demand from the fixtures. This will typically happen overnight and because there is no demand from the fixtures, the mixing valve is only going to see the high temperature from the domestic hot water source, which could be potentially 140 degrees or more at the hot inlet, and then the research temperature of roughly 10 degrees cooler than the desired mixed outlet temp at the cold inlet. At this point, it only takes a small amount of heat to bring the loop back up to your desired domestic hot water temperature, and in many cases, the mixing valve can only close down the inlet of the hot side so much. If the mixing valve allows in more heat through the hot inlet than the loop gives off in heat loss, this is where research creep starts. ASSE 1017 point of distribution mixing valves are not required to have full shutoff of the hot inlet like ASSE 1070 point of use mixing valves. Now I will say that some 1017 thermostatic or electronic mixing valves do have this capability like our angle mix and legio mix, but not all. This means your mixing valve may not have the capability to prevent research creep. So after that long period of no demand, the first person to open up that tap is in for a surprise and a potential scalding. To prevent research creep, you actually have to split the domestic hot water research line as it comes back to the domestic hot water source and mixing valve. One of these lines will go to the domestic hot water source and the other to the cold inlet of the mixing valve. On each of these lines, you need to install a globe valve or similar balancing valve. These valves are there to basically override the control of the mixing valve during times of no demand, effectively limiting the flow through the domestic hot water source and the heat being added to the loop through the hot inlet. Along with appropriately placed check valves, these balancing valves are the solution to your problem. You can see them at the diagram circled in purple. Now I will say that the devil is in the details when it comes to setting these two balancing valves. If set incorrectly, you could still allow more heat into the loop than what it gives off. On the other hand, you could also have the potential to not allow enough heat into the loop. This is called droop, and while it's not as dangerous as creep, it's still going to make for some impatient and unhappy customers. This is a bit of a trial and error process that we actually detail out in our literature, so make sure to check that out as well. Now the last thing you need to know, and probably the most important, is that you can avoid all of this headache. Our angle mix thermostatic mixing valve and legio mix electronic mixing valve actually have the ability to completely close off the hot port if necessary. This will make research creep just a bad dream and you can move on to the next job. So thanks for joining us today on another Ask Kalefi. Again, my name is Cody Mack. We hope you tune in for the next one.